Mikhail Bulgakov was born on May 2nd in 1891 in Kyiv in a middle-class intellectual family. He graduated in medicine from the university in Kyiv, but soon abouted his medical career for journalism. His first literary efforts were short stories, such as The Fatal X and Devil Ray, in which the real world is mixed with science fantasy for the purpose of social and moral satire. The realistic novel The White Guard was Bulgakov's first major triumph and is notable as one of the few works published in the Soviet Union which sympathetically portray the supporters of the white cause during the Civil War. This outstanding novel was never reprinted in Russia, but Bulgakov's dramatic adaptation of it, The Days of Turbines, became a fixture in the Soviet stage. From 1926 until his death, Bulgakov was closely associated with the Moscow Art Theatre, for which he wrote over 30 plays, only 8 of which were performed in his lifetime. During the 1930s, Bulgakov's partiality for satire and his independence as a writer kept him under a political cloud. At one time, the pressure on him became so great that he asked Stalin for permission to leave the Soviet Union permanently, but Stalin refused. He also suffered from poor health and became blind the year before his death, in 1940. The first of the novels to appear was Black Snow, a satire on the Soviet theoretical world. The second, The Heart of a Dog, is a science fantasy in which human organs are transplanted into a dog, giving it the most disgusting qualities of mankind. The third novel, The Maester and Margarita, was written in his last years and is Bulgakov's greatest work. It is a complex, grotesque and fantastic satire, combining a unique interpretation of the story of Jesus with descriptions of the literary and theoretical circles of Moscow and with dead adventures caused by the mischief of the devil. The novel has many symbolic elements which can be interpreted in a great variety of ways. A number of Bulgakov's manuscripts remain unpublished.